Oh no. Are we going inside the house and... They're all dead? This, this game took a really big turn right now. <laughs> Welcome back everybody to the useless Mr. Moon show and yes, <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna play in a different horror game than usual. This one is free, it's on itchio.com. Um, and I was browsing a little bit for some games to play, mostly some short games. But then I pressed on the popular button and this game popped up. And I saw it growing the last couple days to the first spot right now. And I, I want to know why this game is so freakishly popular right now. I really want to know. So I invite you to come with me to figure out what this game is about. Why this game is so popular. And maybe has some scares for us that we can enjoy ladies and gentlemen but before we're gonna hop in before we're gonna do that please leave a subscribe if you're new here and decide at the end of the video if you want to leave a like of course if you like my playthrough or if you, if you like me but for now we're gonna hop in and see why this is so freakingly popular i don't know it's it's a it's it's a different kind of style i don't know how you call this style though of horror games i mean like um the graphics, the quality. Let me know how it's called, yeah? The tragic events of that day still intrigue not only the FBI but the whole country and it has become one of the most bizarre cases that has never been solved. There are reports of people who say they hear the deafening screams just by going near that place. Ooh. Murder? Colorado, 1979. BTK killer? I don't know. Ted Bundy? No, Ted Bundy was not around that time, right? I think it was the BTK. Right. Amanda, why does your family have a house here in the middle of freaking nowhere, Scott? Well, I think it belongs to my great grandfather. The old, the oldish man bought his house at the auction of a long time ago. My family never managed to sell it and it was abandoned for some years, so now it's mine. <laughs> Brian, yeah, <laughs> of course they didn't. This house is falling apart. How old is it? Oh, relax, bro. The furniture is almost new. Well, I, uh, I can't believe it. I left my aerobics class for this. Guys, nobody in my family wants the house. We can't do <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't do this, otherwise I'll keep on laughing. I can't do this. I'm gonna just stop. <laughs> I'm gonna talk normal from now on. Nobody will care if we break something. Have a party or even demolish this crap. Okay, okay. You have already convinced me. Let's drink a beer, man. Oh yeah, team A. <laughs> Ashley and I will go and have a look around the house. Alright, let's go. <laughs> um, I'm excited for today. I've always had a crush on Scott. He just recently broke up with my friend Sarah, so I don't want to be... A douchebag. Well, you are already then if you're thinking about it. Come on. At least wait a, wait a couple weeks, maybe a couple months. Right? I only came on, uh, came on this trip because Ashley didn't want to be the only girl here. Oh, that's kind of nice. He actually didn't want to come. I better hurry up and get my backpack out of the van. Oh. Nice ass. <laughs> I had to say it, fan. Alright. Ben, how do I open? How do I open stuff? Okay, Mr. Moon serious. I can't open it. Maybe Scott can help me. Oh, hello, Scott. How are you? I will check the tires before I park the van near the house. You can go ahead. Why? Why would you check the tires right now? You already did the road trip. Scott, you're not smart. Here's your backpack. You can put it in the bedroom on the second floor. All right, thanks. Equip backpack. Oh, nice yellow backpack. He looks. He magically, he magically disappeared. Uh, I'm going the other way. Oh, uh, wait, what? The house. Oh, that's how it, the the um, turning around's a little bit weird though. I have to get not weird. I'm not gonna say that. I have to get used to it. See, 
I want to turn around. But because I'm also pressing the buttons then the other way around, it's actually just walking forward. So I wanted to do this. See? Oh, okay. Yeah, I have to pay attention to that. The the yellow backpack looks a little bit like the yellow jacket from uh what is the kids? Georgie. From it. Hello, Georgie! Come and play. The sewers. Disgusting shitty sewers. Alright. What was our objective actually? We have Oh, we do have, I think, an inventory, or this maybe is a journal. It's empty, though. We don't have a journal. All right, so we have to figure it out on our own. We had to get go back inside. Let's see. It is a keg of oh, bucket. I don't need a bucket right now. Okay. I'm sorry. Is that a, a, oh, a scrap? It seems to be a piece of, an, of a excavator. Oh, that's what the excavator is. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think we call it a crane in Dutch, but I'm not really sure. Door. I like the style, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap. A little bit like PlayStation 1 style. Back in the days when my brother played it. Oh, he never touched the horror game, though. Yo, how are you? Why are you so happy, Brian? This place does look so bad. Ashley must be in the bedroom upstairs putting her things away. Alright, I'm going to Ashley because that seems the thing to do. I'm going to do that immediately. Wait, this... Huh? This is what I mean. I thought I was looking to the right. That's right, that's left. Alright. It's locked. Alright. I should put my things away first. Alright, I'm, I'm trying to find the room, lady. Come on. Hi, Ashley. <laughs> I like the style, but now I can meet everyone downstairs. All oh, right, Ashley magically disappeared again. What is here? That's just another room. All right, so we're going downstairs first. We can't jump. That's sad. Newspaper, March 6, 1944. Missing Noah Campbell. Two days ago, the 70-year-old boy Noah Campbell was hunting with his father when he disappeared in the woods. Today, the police found the boy's blood and a piece of pants in an area area known to inhabit mountain lions. Known to inhabit mountain lions. All right. The boy's body was not found at the scene, indicating that the boy managed to escape the attack or already is in the body of the mountains. Lion. Right? Bone and all. <laughs> Bone and all. <laughs> Uh, yeah, thank you. How can I go? Ah, escape. Alright, escape. Hey, Ashley. This damn tap doesn't work. Can you go outside and ask Scott to fix this crap? Or, or try it yourself? It's very dark in there. Okay. Um, is this gonna go outside? Yeah. You can also... Oh, no. It's locked. Okay, that's another room. Locked. Oh, I already tested that one. I guess this is also the outside. Yeah. Wait, where's Scott? Oh, there he is. Scott, you need to fix the tap. There seems to be some problem with the plumbing in the house. The taps don't work. Brian told me we are going to the next town to buy some drinks and something to eat. I will call the plumber as soon as I get there. We have to shake his face though. Come on. <laughs> uh, we have to shake this place up. Did, did you bring a radio? This is a very old house. There must be a radio somewhere. Can you and Ashley look for it while we do the shopping? Sure. So I have to go inside and find the radio. The radio. That's so intriguing there. Look, we can go here. Right? Can we keep on going here? Oh, we can go here. We can get lost in the woods. That's what I like. Okay. There's a well here. Is that where the woman from the ring comes out soon? 
There must be some bucket around the house. But for what? Why do we need this now? We okay, 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 okay. We're going first to the radio park. Let's follow the objectives. That might be a bit smart. It's very smart of you, Mr. Moon. Right, radio. Radio Kaka. <laughs> All I hear is. Where the hell is Ashley? Oh, she's already kidnapped. She's already gone. She already sliced up somewhere open. Down in the dungeons with dragons. <laughs> uh, maybe she found a throne where she can play games. <laughs> oh man, I have such a day again. I love it. I love it. My day is so good today. I, I, I'm so happy today. I don't know why. I would help you, but I don't want to wear out my fingernails messing around in this old house. Well, why why did she come then? You know you know it's old. You can put the radio on the table if you find it. All right, shall we? I guess. Uh, I guess where to go is the basement. It's very dark, and you then put on a light or grab actually a. Empty. Yeah, sure. Does it still still work? I don't know. We need to find a flashlight. Maybe. And go actually into the basement. I think the radio is there. But we can also check up for upstairs first. It's locked. Yeah. Okay. Collected key. Alright. Honorable, honorable, honorable discharge. This is to set. Uh, this is to certify that Henry F. Smith, Medical Research Department, Army of the United States, <laughs> is hereby honorably discharged from the military service of the United States of America. America. This certificate is awarded as a testimony of, of one's ten faithful service to his country. Date: 13 September 1943. That was a horrible time. All right. We found a key. But key to what? To this? Oh, to this door? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Or is it a general door? A flashlight is what we need to go into the basement. But I thought we need to go into the base to find the radio. But the radio is here. All we hear is no music. I better take this downstairs. The, the game feels good though. I gotta tell you that. It feels it feels polished. It feels generally it feels it feels good. You know it responds and what I wanna do there are no lags until now. Some of these three games do sometimes have a lag. I don't mind at all, but sometimes do they do, do have them. If they free, a game in my opinion can be bad. A game can have actually a bad st or no story at all, but actually have good scares or Actually, a good feeling in the game, but if you have to pay for a game that is has not a good feeling in the game that doesn't react on what you want to do, it does not make you feel you're playing a game. It's actually irritating you and it's wasting your time and no story at all. For me, then the game is bad. But all of the above has to be to make a game bad. It seems that the batteries are missing. Haha, <laughs> we have to go to the basement. Let's go. Thoughts over here. See? Oh! Oh yeah, that became... Became scary. <laughs> hey killer, are you here? Are you... Are you following me? Are you behind this couch? No? Are you want, do you want to kill me? Like from a uh, scary movie. Ooh, my head is chopped off. Are you gonna kill me? Should I be scared? Ooh. I'm so scared. <laughs> if you don't know, watch the movie. Batteries? Yes, collected batteries. Ooh, the atmosphere is really good in this game. God damn it. Rebuilding brain tissue seemed crazy at first. Rebuilding brain tissue? I've worked with this all my life and no and now they discard me like an animal. I served so much time, so many secrets, so many deaths. 
They forced me to sign a confidentiality document so all my work, my life story, stayed in the army. What is this? This honorable Henry F. Smith or something like that? Harry F. Smith? Ooh, I actually got goosebumps. Because it feels like somebody is standing there the whole time. It's locked. Okay. So maybe I should just look in the dark. Without flashlight. Maybe then. Somebody's actually showing himself. Or maybe it's a bit too early in the game. I don't know. Let's see. But we need the battery. I'm a little dizzy. I must be dehydrated. Okay. Can we first put the batteries in there? So we did that already. Ashley. Can you also do something? You lazy fuck. It's working now. I'll ask Ashley if she brought the water bottle. Hey, do something at least, Ashley. Did you bring a water bottle? No. I wouldn't have thought that this dump would have... Would have... I am not feeling very well. I'm a little dizzy. If I know Brian and Scott well, they won't bring anything non-alcoholic to drink. There's a well next to the house. We already know. Go there to drink water. If you get worse, we can go to the hospital. I'm sure it's nothing serious. I'm going there. Alright, so we need to find a bucket. Before we're gonna drink that, we're gonna boil it to get actually the most bacteria out of there. That's smart. You should also not, if you ever walk in snow, don't eat the snow. Don't do this. Oh, because it's full with bacteria that you don't see. Even if it's white as hell, even if it looks like really fresh, don't eat it. Boil it first. Oh, that's, that was the bucket. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I forgot that though already. I, I, I hope this game is actually long. Because I'm really enjoying this stuff. Nice little neat soundtrack with it. Me happy. Well, if the ring girl comes out, I'm gone. I switch off my P PC in like two seconds. Oh, the place is very dark, but the water is very blue. It seems that the bucket came with a key. How cool is that? Oh, she drank it immediately. I know for what what the key is for. I know. <gasps> oh, that gave me goosebumps. Wrecking ball. I came in like a wrecking ball. Where are you? Where did you go to? Honestly, that's scary. Oh. I did not know that these kind of games can be so scary. There's whole, a whole lot of new for me here, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Moon only thinks psychological horror games can scare him. But no, I did not know this. This kind of games can scare me too. Like how he was. She's still standing here, this fool. Can I tell her actually? That we saw someone outside. Let's try. I want to know. Ashley, I found this key in the well. Try to look for to where it fits. Maybe you will find something valuable in this house. I know where it fits, but I'm going first upstairs. Because if I can open the door there, then I did not know. Because I think it's going it the, for the door in the basement. Definitely. These two doors. That's my room. I think this is Scott's and Brian's room. This place is empty. I expect something more interesting. So see? Okay. <laughs> that was a good jump scare. <laughs> Alright, so actually I thought this key was for downstairs. Or something in the... Um, in the basement. Basement door. Hmm. Scott, we're back! 
Finally, you are here. What took you so long? We had some unforeseen problems. I had to call the plumber who can only come tomorrow morning. We brought the drinks. Did you find the radio? Yes, I was one of the rooms on the second floor. Right, what are we waiting for? Let's party. Okay, let's party. Oh, yeah, uh... Is this how party are going in America? I don't know. Going to an empty cabin in the woods. One radio in an old house. Four beers and getting drunk. Neat. Over here it goes way different. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. And then soon somebody will kill us. Because like the movie Cabin in the Woods. I'm so drunk. Actually, whoa, whoa! Okay, I was not complaining at all. What? What the heck just happened? They did not hear it? Do you like my new dance move? No. What are you waiting for? Come dance with us. Maybe later. Yeah, Amanda is absolutely right because Amanda heard something. This music is cool. Oh, what was that? What was the bang? It sounded like a... Like a gunshot, right? Like the, in the American movies, we're gonna investigate immediately if we hear something like this. But it was really inside, right? Wow. I actually want to know. Lock these doors first. It's locked. What was this room again? I forgot it. Oh! The, the fool's. The fool's room. So, let's check upstairs. That's the only room that's still locked. Still locked. Okay. So I guess we have to go downstairs. Uh, the fuck? Ladies and gentlemen, was was that? I I don't think that was there before, or I I can completely miss these things. Uh oh. Oh, she went in immediately. Oh, this is so... Is that the door? Yes, somebody's living here. Oh, that's creepy. The test with the last corpse was almost a success. But it seems that the body didn't last more than 30 seconds. Sheriff Campbell always hated me. He was sure that I was involved in the disappearance of that damned boy who was his nephew. Which didn't help much. They went through my house and found some experiments with rats in the basement, which was enough to destroy my work. All my progress has now been abs uh, absolved by the foundation of the house. It's just a matter of time for me to reach perfection. It is a maniac, clearly. After a while, a huge emptiness and depression overwhelmed me. I was lot lost, but seems that God guided him from, for my purposes. Oh, well, while I was confused, well, in these games, when they say that God, don't take immediately the fact that he means God upstairs. In these kind of games, a God can also mean their God, so a devil or demon. They call them their God. So it doesn't mean God, that the one that we know, the, the almighty one, but it can also be the demon. If a person calls their God or God makes me do it, yeah, yeah. For a while I was confused he knocked, uh, he knocked on my door That's how I think about it though His le leg was bleeding profusely I don't know I thought of banishing it but I felt that this fist was not more Not a mere coincidence I started cutting his tendons Poor boy he was screaming without knowing The greatness of his existence I was euphoric that slowly his heart stopped But this event cleared my mind Now I knew what I had, had to be done God guided him to me. I could not interfere in his destiny. Is that a nephew from the guy? Can you please stay away, fool? 
Okay, so we read those. Can we actually watch TV? I don't know, I could not hear him really saying what he was saying. But he said something about destroying of worlds. Oh no. Are we going inside the house and they're all dead? This this game took a really big turn right now. <laughs> this game Scott well <laughs> we build a fire outside I will wait for you there one of the worst jump scares I ever seen but it got me so good <laughs> I don't know if I live after this this was so good Holy God, Lord. Yeah, of course we're gonna sit outside. She she has some seen some weird shit. She should make sure that they are all inside. Fuck you, Scott. I found a strange room. Ah, thank you, Amanda. In the basement with some sinister notes. I don't know if I will have the courage to sleep in this house. No one has uh, has lived in this house for decades. If the first owner was a dangerous person, he must be in, he must be in diapers or has already kicked the bucket. I'm not sure about this. No imbecile is going to come walk to this house in the middle of nowhere because of his blood loss. This only happens in the movies. Maybe in Los Angeles. Try to relax a little bit. You know, if you if you really a little bit interested in in how serial killers worked from the 1960s till the year 1988 or 1990 when or maybe even 2000 when fingerprints and and dna became way much way more valuable for fbi if you like that period of time to actually an interest and you watch netflix documents uh, uh, documentary uh, documentaries about the documentaries i don't know you know what i mean you you you, you watch youtube uh, explanation about it this guy, what he's saying, doesn't make any sense at all because the serial killer strikes, or at the, the the most sociable, socialized areas, most noticeable areas, like what Ted Bundy did. He did it on the freaking beach where thousands of people were. You don't know with his bloodlust. You don't know he can come here and just do what he wants to do. There was once a killer. That was the the pillar of a society, the pillar of that town. There was no um, no violence in the town, no that's uh, criminal activities in that town. But and he was the pillar of that society. He was in every group, in every neighborhood watch. But he was the killer. I forgot his name. That's a very interesting story. So he is absolutely he is absolutely wrong about that though. You must be right. No, he's not right. He's there. He's going to kill you. Don't you think you have had too much to drink? But I haven't even finished my first beer yet. Yeah, <laughs> you drunk fool. This is the tenth time you have said this and you are always holding a different can. Whatever, Scott, my broth. Scott, my broth. Uh, your parents are so cool to give you a house. To be honest, my parents did not give me this house. They are cheaps cheapskates. They don't even know we came here. Ooh, you're just the, you're the man Scott Jesus Lord damn it Scott are you serious I didn't I didn't lie when I said that this house is abandoned my parents do not care just relax the only thing we have to worry about is the eye collector maniac while brutally murdering his victims he liked to gouge out their eyes while they were still alive to keep as a souvenir god dang it 
I heard that his favorite victims were women. Besides, this house was the place where his mad, where he made his last killing. I've never heard about this. You're make, you're making it up. Okay, okay. That was a long time ago. Of course, you have never heard of it. You told me it was not not dangerous here. Oh no, we as Amanda are fo falling for it. I was just trying to calm you down. Shut up, Scott. I need to take my allergy medication. I'm going in. Me too. I'm tired of being around these assholes. You asshole. Come on. I'm just kidding. No. We are going inside. We said so. See? You are a big fat. What you can see in front of you. A asshole. Alright. It had to go out. Yes, I'm also sometimes the type that's watching a horror movie and then they say Don't be so scared. That only happens in the movies and then you actually know what happened in real life And you think like no, it's actually the opposite of what happens in movies Even your best friend can be a killer Drinking on an empty stomach was not a good choice. I'll, I'll eat something. All right, then make it It's e it's 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 empty We go upstairs no jump scare, please. Medication. Yes, thank you. Oh, the whole back. <laughs> All right. We went to somebody's bowel, we, it seems. Or maybe the pathway to hell? I don't know. Let's sprint forward. Hey! <laughs> I kicked my toe again against the wall. Holy shit, this medicine makes me a little sleepy. What time is it? Where is Ashley? Oh no. What does these boys do to you? Is that hole still there? I don't need to come in here anymore. No. Okay. Where are the boys? Boys. It's locked. Where's Ashley? It sounds like someone screaming in the basement. Oh, you know exactly where it is then. Alright, we go immediately. I don't mind, we go. Are you here, Ashley? <gasps> Jesus Lord, she got ripped apart. Holy crap. That's a strong person who can do that. Look at... Oh... That's a strong person, I gotta tell you that. Oh no. Oh no. Ladies and gentlemen, we are absolutely fucked. hissing sound that you hear right now like when there's a television on makes it way more interesting where do we go do we do we like do the same in moves and start running it's locked i need to find another way out i guess we it's locked i need to find it whoa <coughs> stay away from me scott haha -ha. Fuck this dude, right? Fuck him. This is the same in as... Uh, what was the, is it really the, the name Scream? The, the movie, the first one, that she... That those two friends were actually the killers? Right? Is it similar to that? 
Scott, are you the maniac eye collector? Huh? No, that doesn't even exist. I was just making fun of you. The only person who died in this house was my great grandfather. He died the first day he comes. He came here, but he was old and died of a heart attack. Dude, check the basement. As you ran out of the uh, out to the basement, I thought you would be braver. Are you fucking kidding me? I saw a fucking body in the basement, Scott. Are you trying to scare me too? I'm serious. Shit, she might have tripped on the stairs. Her body was the, on the fucking ceiling. Holy shit! Yeah. This ain't right. You are trying to play a trick on me. No, I'm I'm freaking serious. What is your problem? Okay, let's check it out. Yeah, go. I will stab you in your back. For what you did to me two times. Yeah, you know what? I need to find a way out. I want to see. I want to see. Oh. Okay, that's the way we have to go, clearly. But I want to see what happened to, if it's possible to, Scott. No, we can't see what happened to Scott. But I, I do sincerely hope he got what he deserved to, for scaring us two times. What the fuck is that, Brian? What has this thing done to you? Thing complete. What the hell are you? A fucking parasite? No. I am more. I'm emerging myself in the game. <laughs> I need to get out of this place now. Actually. Wait, oh, there's an eyeball there. Okay. <laughs> it's really fantastic, man. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I like this game. I know why it's popular. It fits in, in such a short game. Oh! I had to run. Okay. In such a short game, it's... It's so... Such a good story, actually. Easy, but sh good. Yeah, run, run. Open the window, lady. She... She... <laughs> she went Superman through it. Look at... <laughs> well, I would have done the same. Literally, I would have done the same. Well... The, the tires are probably... We can try to go for the car. Well, this is not a serial killer at all. This is this is something way worse. Actually, I just realized that. Holy fucking Jesus. The house is alive! Run! We gotta run! <gasps> oh! We gotta run, ladies and gentlemen. I wasn't fast enough. Oh boy, I wasn't fast enough. But that's cool, I gotta tell you that. I like this game a lot. And I hope you do too. Just keep running. No looking back. You're very creepy, man. Are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? Cheerio killer. Is that Uber? Plumbing service. <laughs> Is that my Uber? Yeah, it's my Uber. <laughs> what a fantastic game. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Well done, Kaiki Santos. Kaiki, Kaiki, I'm sorry if I pronounce your your name wrong, but damn, it was good. I'm actually sad that the game is over, and I do really understand why this game is so popular at the moment. Good story.
It felt incredibly smooth, the game. It felt polished. I like the style. Two incredibly good jump scares. I gotta tell you that. I thought it was a serial killer. I could... I was actually thinking about the story during the gameplay. And then it turned out a little bit like... A weird demon-like... House? Monster? Monstrous house? Yeah, and the atmosphere was fantastic. But besides all of that... <coughs> we get more. On a Friday morning, Mark Williams, a 37-year-old plumber, was on a call to fix the plumbing in a house far from town. He, his service van was found several miles away from the scene. And according to the investigation, it had already probably collided with a truck. Mark Williams was never found. Okay, so... That's sad. It's, it has been more than 20 years since the disappearance of Scott Thompson, Ashley Rivera, Brian Jones and Amanda Martinez. According to information provided by a shopkeeper and other witnesses in the nearby town, the youngsters were spending the weekend at a nearby house. In other words, Gavin in the woods. In a statement, the parents of the young Scott Thompson, one of the missing, reported that they owned a house near the site but it had been demolished years ago. The documents and the police investigation, investigation at the site confirms this. Alright. I'm really intrigued in the story. Holy crap. During this investigation, the police found a homemade mask and bloody knife near the rubble in the old house. The blood on the knife was Scott Thompson's. Everything points to a serial killer, but even after years of search, the suspect has never been found. Okay. Weird. Even after years of investigation, the only concrete evidence the police could find was that in that place existed at some point in time. The house. Cool. Very cool. So ladies and gentlemen, besides me saying all these nice things about this game, it's immensely popular right now. I hope you do find this one cool as well. Let me know what you think about this game in my comments. Um, but I'm gonna hop to the next game. I hope you, 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 yes, all of you are gonna follow me to that video. If you're new here, please decide if you wanna leave a subscribe and if you like this playthrough, if you like me, of course, leave a like as well. But that will help me out a lot nowadays. And I will see you in the next video. I'm going to say bye-bye. I love you all. And I will see you there. Bye-bye.